Hi, this video is all about finding tax liens and tax deeds in a list. So uh, we're using a tool called ParcelFair, and if you've ever seen our videos or used ParcelFair before, you probably know that uh, we're, we're very map-centric, very uh, search-driven around uh, trying to filter your results and visualize those on a map. But there's a lot of cases where you might want to see your search results in a spreadsheet or in a type of a grid view where you can just look at them off of the map. So I'm going to show you some examples here. Uh, this is the Lake County auction for Indiana coming up in uh, May of 2023. Uh, when we just throw all the maps out, uh, properties on the map, there's uh, almost 9,000. Um, and when, when it's this dense, that's, that's fine to view it on the map. We can check out a neighborhood at a time. We can roll through properties, uh, take a peek at what we're looking at. And it works pretty well. But again, we have some cases where uh, that's not what you want. Let's um, take these results and filter them down. We're uh, gonna look at uh, valuations. Uh, we're gonna filter it down and get it down to 73 properties. So it's not so easy now. Uh, we're looking at an entire county here and finding the 73 properties can be tricky. Even with the high contrast map like this, uh, when we're looking at it on sort of a white background, you can find a lot of them, but um, not so easy. And uh, this uh, preview on the right side helps to a point, but it still just doesn't solve the problem. So uh, what I want to show you is on the right hand side, we have this parcel results drop down and you can click view results in a grid, which will take those 73 results and put them in a format like this where it's easier to view. Um, so, and we can sort here by total value, by building value, uh, by clicking these column headers and uh, it helps us kind of analyze that data a little bit differently. We can also, if you wanted, you could save this to a list, this blue button, will actually save it to a list that uh, stays on your account. So no matter what happens in the future, if properties come and go in this auction, you've captured these 73 properties and put them into a list that you save for later. That's, that's kind of a side note there. But uh, this export to CSV button, the green button, is another thing I want to point out. That lets you view these properties in a spreadsheet. So uh, we're opening Excel right now, and I'll just bring it over here. So yeah, those 73 properties are now viewable in a spreadsheet. We give you a link to the property, all the pertinent information that you're used to researching, and uh, all, all the 73 properties there for you to view. So um, really, that's, that's the gist of what I was gonna show you today. Um, I think a, a lot of people are curious about this because uh, when you're uh, researching tax properties, especially if you've been doing this for years, you're used to calling a county or going to a county website and looking for like a list or a spreadsheet. So um, this would let you view those properties in a way that you're uh, used to researching properties uh, and not force you just to view it on a map. So um, I guess that's, that's kind of like a, just another way of looking at uh, your property results. Uh, so uh, I hope this is useful to you. Uh, I'll try to uh, keep thinking of uh, videos that are nice little tips and tricks like this that will help your research go smoother. And if you have ideas, uh, reach out, contact us, or put a comment on the uh, YouTube video below, and we'll be happy to, uh, to look at your suggestions and uh, maybe make a video for it. Thanks for watching.